Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where science is all about trying to learn various concepts over the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding loan times. The difficulty level of this question is easy and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called loans with three different columns, loan ID, user ID and loan type. Loan ID is the column for unique values for this table. This table contains loan ID, user ID and the loan type. We are asked to write a solution to find all distinct user IDs that have at least one refinance loan type and at least one mortgage loan type return the result table ordered by user id in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here let's try to find out which user id has at least one mortgage and one refinance 101 has a mortgage but there is no refinance 102 has a mortgage as well as a refinance so 102 should be in the output 103 only has refinance and 104 only has mortgage so the only user in the output should be 102 and that is what we have so to do this what we can do is we are only concerned about loan types mortgage and refinance so what we can do is we can keep only those rows so from this table called loans let's keep only those rows where loan type is in mortgage so mortgage and then refinance so this is going to keep only those rows then what we need to do is for every user id we can go ahead and count the number of distinct loan types so if i go ahead and do this group by the user id and keep only those user ids which have count of distinct loan type equal to two now you might be thinking why this will satisfy the need of the question here the question says at least one refinance and one mortgage we kept only those rows where loan type is mortgage and refinance so let's say a user id has two different mortgages right so they do not have a refinance but they have two different mortgages so that is why when we do a count of distinct loan type that is going to come out for that user as one so that user won't be kept and rightly so but let's say there is another user who has three mortgages and four refinances so in total seven loans but how many distinct loan types they have mortgage and refinance that is two right so you see in in every case the users who are going to satisfy this is going to satisfy the need of the question as well so once we have filtered those user ids we can return those user ids as well and then we also need to order them by user id in ascending order so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it. So yes, somewhat tricky question, but what we basically had to do was from this loans table, we only kept those rows where loan type is mortgage or refinance. And then we grouped by the user ID and counted the number of distinct loan types equal to two. That will satisfy that at least one mortgage and one refinance loan type is for that user we kept only such users and ordered by user id in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video